Well, hello boys. It's uh, quarter to eleven uh, on the 17th of July. Yeah, 10.45. I've just set up camp. Seriously, just. Um, so I'm going to have a smoke and chill out. It's pitch black in here, you know. Been in since about half nine, just when it got dusk. So, another smoke and show you bits and pieces that I can in the dark. So, enjoy stealth camp number 10. Hi guys, the uh, first thing I think you'll notice about my location is there's a bit of a slug fest going on down here. Um, so, there's, there's a beauty. <laughs> um, so, as you're probably aware, I will not be taking my socks off tonight on my shoes. I just hope that uh, they've come out in just a certain area. Uh, yeah, let's see. I've got a, a stack of wood down there just in case I could use a fire. Yeah, that seems like the they're all kind of over this way. Uh, never mind, eh? Not a worry. I just hope they don't get in me bed during the night, which I no doubt I'll keep checking for. Okay, so I'll catch you when there's anything to report or if we get covered in slugs. <laughs> just check there's none on the trees there. No, not at the moment. Seems to be okay, I'm going to get those things off the ground. Anyway, looks like there. Plenty of midges and things, right? After the light. Oh, damn it. Right, catch you in a bit, guys. Hey, lads. It's uh, quarter to two in the morning. I thought I'd get a bit of a campfire on the go. Just some bits of wood that were lying around. Certainly warmed up a bit now. So, uh, it's not a very big one. Just uh, to see if I could actually do it and pass the time. So, uh, yeah, got some nice bright flames out of it. Uh, just uh, chucking some bits of little bits of sticks and things. I've been plagued by uh, gnats or whatever they call them. Um, I need them buzzing about. So I thought that maybe I'd uh, get a shot of them. Like I say, it's not very big, but uh, there's plenty of red coals there at the bottom. And uh, I've got to stick some more wood on. So, here's an update. <laughs> Catch you in a little one. Yeah, boys, this is the life. Like I say, I've kept it nicely contained there. Yeah. Uh, it's just gone ten past two in the morning. It's pumped some really nice heat out. You've got a good uh, bed of coals there. Just got a, a wee bit of wood to put on there just to keep it going for a bit. Uh, yeah, the right what they say, it's like free TV. <laughs> but. Uh, once it's done, like I'm, that's it. I'm not, you know, gonna hack up uh, any more wood or anything. There's just bits I found lying around. So uh, I've seen a couple of interesting creatures tonight. So, uh, hedgehog earlier on, uh, scurrying about, and there's been slugs all over the place, and a few beetles, and uh, a few moths and gnats and whatever else. Uh, but uh, there was a bee in the tree, and I thought I can't go to sleep with that, and so I kind of moved it on a bit. And uh, it was 
was okay, you know. But I thought there's no way I can go to sleep with a bee about six foot away from us. <laughs> so, uh, mm -hmm. Right, we'll sort this out a bit more. Try and get as much benefit as I can from it before I try and get to sleep in morning turns. Uh, morning comes up and uh, hopefully I should be warm. There's a, there's a, bit, a little bit of a, a coolish breeze coming in but it's supposed to be quite warmest night of the year or whatever. Uh, well basically I put the, I put the fire on, <laughs> try and keep the insects away but as you can see the moths all over the place. Anyway. I'll get back this fire, stoke it up a bit and uh, probably call it a night and see you in the morning. Good morning lads. <coughs> it's five to three. And uh, what is it? Friday the eighteenth. Two fifty nine there. It's coffee time. The fire is all but gone out. Maybe the couple of embers kicking about. And, uh, I'll tidy that up in the morning. Leave no trace and all that. So, having a good old cup of coffee. I chilled out in my hammock. Uh, Zipped myself up. I still felt the warmth off the fire, but. Uh, no, I couldn't really get any sleep. It's always the same when I come out here. But uh, it's nice and quiet anyway. Um, apart from the uh, couple of midges here and there, like, but the smoke seems to have kept them off a bit, so that's not so bad really. So I'll just wait for this to boil up on my little meth can, uh, my, less, my meth pop can stove. Always a, a good stove that I've had it over a year and a half now and it never lets me down. And of course the uh, French army uh, mess cup there. Had a few uh, good uh, good times with the, that cup as well. <laughs> Putting uh, beans and sausage and all sorts in it. But uh, it's just for coffee today. Ten, well tonight, this morning. Whatever. It's absolutely pitch dark in here. Um, I think the dawn should come up in about an hour or so. Uh, so I might just ride it out. You end up getting home for about half past five or something in the morning, maybe, or whatever. But uh, I'll show you my camp first. Yeah, that's coming up to a, a nice boil, that thing. There's still plenty of mess in it by the look of it, so it's going to be a bit hot to drink yet. For my day. That's what it's all about. <laughs> okay, let's catch you in a bit then. To it off now. Good morning, guys. It's... Uh, 4.22 in the morning and it's become a lot lighter in here although I have had to put this on a manual uh, exposure <coughs> but this is the dawn coming up um, it's not actually facing uh, east it's I think it's uh, West northwest, that something like that, but the dawn is coming up over here. Uh, you might be able to just pick out a little bit. It's, it's very dense where I'm at, you know, and uh, this camera doesn't pick up, uh, as you well know. But uh, yeah, there we go. So I'll wait till it gets a bit lighter and uh, show you the camp. Hopefully it's going to be a nice day, but apparently we've got some rain today, so uh, and some thunder and lightning tomorrow, which uh, should prove interesting. So I'll give it another half an hour or something like that. It should uh, have brightened up a bit. 
Okay then. Catch you in a bit, guys. Hi, dudes. Well, oh, I'm having a final uh, coffee. And uh, one of these. And nutty bar things. Coffee there, and a bit of plastic spoon. Plastic spoon for stealth. <laughs> That's what's left in me fire. Just a big pile of ash. If we look around, hopefully, yeah, can pick this up with the camera now. It's um, 25 to 5 in the morning. Look over there, and this is where the dawn comes up from here. Over this way, east. At least I think it is. <laughs> Obviously, it's the brightest spot, so it must be. But uh, yeah, it's certainly uh, brightened up a lot since the last time I oh, yeah. show you anything. This is actually on the intelligent auto. I had to put on manual last time, so Let's see if I can see this mug without me my light. No, I'm still not really. No, it's very dark still. Pulls the sky out alright, but never mind, eh? <laughs> so I'm going to have a final cup of coffee and uh, something to eat. Uh, hopefully, by about five ish, maybe the sun should have rose and uh, You'll get to have a proper look around. <laughs> I'll show you how I've put my uh, setup. I actually changed it um, from uh, the first time I put it up. When I came in here, it was uh, dusk, and uh, I could still see, you know, there's a sunset and everything. But it took me quite a while to uh, find a decent uh, couple of trees to uh, swing me tarp and me hammock from, and. Uh, by the time I set it up and set it up wrong, it was absolutely pitch black, so I had to get the old headlight out and uh, kind of sort it out with that. But uh, it, it seems to be okay. Um, it's a lot better than I thought it would be in the dark. So uh, we'll go and get the boil already. I don't know why you let it boil that much because. Uh, it's uh, fresh water anyway, I just really needed heating up, but or warming up. So you can see it's doing the job there. The old pop can stuff. Well, what I will say is though, you'll, you will need a mug, um, a glove to uh, take it off, because it does get bloody hot that handle. <laughs> I'm not surprised you've seen the flames licking up the side of it, so yeah. There you go, but uh, nice little flame coming out. Out of it, little cork can, or pop can, I should say. And, uh, never leave home without it, really. So you never know when you're going to need it. So, uh, okay, I'll cut and have my coffee because that is absolutely brimming now. No, I don't need it to be that hot. I have to put my glove on. So, I'll catch you guys. Uh, when it gets a bit lighter, hopefully in about 20 minutes. Okay, I'm going to cut and catch you in a bit. Morning, guys. It's uh, definitely getting a lot lighter. Um, I wanted to kind of show you what I'd, I'd got on, but I don't think it's going to pick up. Well, that's not bad. Right, it's uh, obviously a, a camo fleece hoodie. Uh, there's me headlamp on the top there. With the white light, and if I move this over there, you get the red stealth light and off in the middle. I'll probably take that off now. But uh, just to show you what else I've got on. underneath, because it does get a bit cold. And um, a shimmer, or 
Hiroshima or whatever you want to call it. So you can, I've had it like this during the night. Over my nose, over my mouth. It stops the insects getting in for sure. I uh, could hear them buzzing around. And then I obviously put me hoodie back up there. Very stealthy. <laughs> anyway, it, uh, it works. It uh, definitely keeps the old uh, moths and things out your face. Right, so I'm going to flip the camera around anyway. Um, that is, it wasn't the, the warmest of evenings. Um, it was okay. Just with like a fleece and uh, a t-shirt on. Just a normal pair of jeans. Haven't gone for the old camo look or anything like that. Um, right, let's see if we can uh, sort the, uh, the camera out and show you what's going on. Okay, that's, that's a lot better now, isn't it? Right, and here we go. Here's my camp. <laughs> that uh, thing on the top is... Uh, move around this woodland bit. Blimey, there's some crop come down, a few leaves and things. Uh, that's the hood, by the way. This is a leaf there. This is a um, army poncho. It doubles up. As you can see, it's press studs all along the side there. It doubles up as a poncho um, or a shelter. <coughs> Excuse me. If we nip down underneath, hopefully it'll be light enough for you to see. All along there's the tarp. Uh, the uh, hammock, I mean. That's just my glove on the floor. And that's the pile of ash where my fire was. I'll come up here. That's tied around the tree. And I've got a, a bungee cord. Slap bang in the middle. Uh, there's another one on the other side there. Slap bang in the middle, holding that up. I don't see the point of using too much paracord if you don't need to. So that goes up and around the tree there at a nice angle. Obviously this side, a paracord there and that goes all the way to a prussic knot down here. Around this tree there. Same on the other two sides there. Uh, sorry, the other, yeah, three sides. On there. It's lifted up a bit that, but you've got to remember I did this in the dark. Right, so we'll try and nip round. I'm actually quite uh, closed in. As you can see, it works alright. Uh, let's see where my feet's been. I'll get rid of that fire. Uh, we'll go around and have another look underneath. Not the best of things because if you look there, I've actually got it the wrong way around. <laughs> Should be that way. Not to worry. It worked out okay. Careful I don't knock my coffee over there with my glove on the top. Alright, piece of paracord here to get round. Yeah, there's just sticks littered all over the place so I picked a few up. And uh, and smartened it up for me fire. Just looking back up. So yeah, you can actually see that a, bit, a lot better now, can't you, with the light? Uh, so it is kind of a lean to come airframe. <laughs> There's no real design, like I say, I did it in the dark. I did have it over on. From this tree in front of me here, you can see it goes over to that one I've just shown you. I did have it going over to that tree there, this one here. And as you can see in the foreground, these two poles, these two branches sticking out the ground. It was absolutely ridiculous. Um, couldn't get it high enough. Uh, it was about two inches off the floor. <laughs> squashing that plant the uh, everything was rubbing on it 
And what's happened here is somebody's been cutting these branches down probably for uh, to make a fire. There's a, a very <laughs> a very crude lean-to shelter which I might show you in a bit a bit further over in the wood over there and it's absolutely rubbish <laughs> so I mean I might show you that just to see how that goes as you can see on this side I'll show you this uh, bungee little bungee cord pound shop job brilliant uh, really stretchy really stretchy and uh, like I say I don't see the point of using the old wood pigeons I don't see the point of using too much paracord when you don't really need to you know there's one on the corner going down there another prussic knot there just so you can adjust it and the same on this side on the top bit one along and that goes over to tree there and yet another Not right in the middle of it. If you can see it. So the sun's definitely looking like it's going to try and break through. So I may go and uh, it looks a bit cloudy actually. We'll have a walk around. See what it looks like from uh, the path and the pathways up there in the distance. Actually, not that far from it, but uh, far enough. Far enough not to be seen, <laughs> which is always the main thing. Right, so I'll try and find an easy way around here and we'll, uh, we'll pop up. I'll show you it in a bit. Okay, lads, we'll stand on the main path. It's muddy as hell. See, you can see, I normally, if, I'm, if I come down the bottom of the wood, I normally camp somewhere around there. Well, I've come to this part now. Oh, that's the middle bit. If you know, <coughs> you know my uh, bug out place. It curves around to the end there and uh, goes out the entrance. <coughs> I mean, all this is, is not really overgrown as much as I thought. Uh, I thought it was going to be well, you know, uh, planting. Uh, bracken and uh, whatever it is all over the place but it's not really so uh, like I say I want to get off the main drag bit you know, somewhere where nobody can really see me anyway look, if anybody saw me it would just be the fire uh, which wasn't on for long ok I'll zoom in here and uh, you should be able to start to see it there uh, it's not really that bad just about make the uh, hammock out of it. Uh, it's not bad. So, we'll uh, pop back down. Unless you want to have a look at the sunrise. It looks very cloudy actually over there. I love this time of morning, it's brilliant. So you see how, how dense it is really, I mean coming in here in the dark, um, well, at uh, sunset, is uh, not a bad time, but it took me a lot longer because I couldn't find anywhere that was any good. Uh, down the bottom end there so I kind of walked up through this lot and um, decided to pitch there like I say it was against this this tree here uh, yeah, that one then started going over to that one so it was across there and uh, obviously you can tell it's all branched and uh, there's roots and all sorts and then two, those two branches at the bottom there, absolutely no good whatsoever. 
uh, just rubbing on it and basically causing a mess. Yeah, well, I was on about somebody's cut them logs down at the well, cut them branches there, shade them off. They've actually got me, uh, my rucksack on one, <laughs> which is perfect, keeps it off the ground. Uh, it's pretty ideal, really. But um, there's another one there, if you, you just see it going up there, and it's just catching the bottom of uh, my hammock. Which wasn't a problem really, yeah. it was okay, I thought I might have ripped it but uh, it seems to be like a, quite a clean cut. Anyway, we'll have a look at this uh, lean to that somebody looks like they've started. I don't know if that's it or not. Uh, somebody certainly cut this. <laughs> This one, it looks like it's been sawn off there and left and goes all the way up the top there. So, you know, somebody's been using firewood or whatever. I mean, look at all this here. I could have used half of that. That would have been great. It kept my fire going all night. But you don't really want to wander too far away from your camp, especially in pitch black, because you could quite easily put your eye out in on these branches here or you could end up with some nasty cuts on these uh, um, thorny type things, branches and uh, you could r probably make a right mess of yourself I mean if you look down here that actually looks pretty good and I probably, I think I've done a camp down there before in between these two, those two trees there but it's all, you know, nettles and uh, foliage and things. Quite good for uh, for camouflage, like. But um, well, there we go. I didn't do such a bad job, really, uh, considering all things considered. Uh, I mean, I'd, <laughs> obviously, when I was going sitting on my hammock, I mean, these trees were a bit and there's a, a few leaves and branches and stuff fell down. Thank God there weren't anything thick. But, uh, you can see the leaves and things on there. So, it's the time. Two minutes past five. Right, my coffee should be pretty cool now. So, I'm going under, under me. The shelter. That's me bug down there. I'm sorry guys. I think somebody's actually just ran past me. <laughs> I'm above the path there. It certainly sounded like footprints, uh, footprints, footsteps. I don't know how they can get out of there because uh, it doesn't appear that there's any entrance or exits. So. Anyway, uh, so here I am. Uh, sitting in the shelter. That's quite adequate. Seems alright. Didn't keep any wind or anything off me, but if it had rained it probably would have been okay. Right, I'm gonna go get me coffee. I'll wait till it gets a little lighter. And uh, I'll probably think about packing up in the next half an hour or so. When the sun really comes up. So, cheese and bees and I'll catch you in a bit. Okay guys, just in case any of you were interested, uh, this is my uh, water facility, it's, uh, it does 2 litres, um, 
I've used about half of one, oh, about a litre. Uh, it's got a nice screw cup there. You can hang it up, but I haven't bothered putting any paracord in or out. Uh, it comes down to the tube. Tube comes out the bottom. Uh, it's got like the mouthpiece uh, thing you pull pull to open. Uh, there's a fair bit of tube there uh, with it as well. Sorry, I zoomed in too far. There you go. So uh, uh, straight off eBay. Uh, it does the job. I can bang it in a little bag like that, and uh, it's good for two, just over two liters. So that's all I'd ever need, really. Lucky to go through a liter on a night, really. But you never know. Sometimes it can get a bit hot, and uh, you could do with a drink. So that's that's what I use. Very handy. Actually fits in the back of the other one. Um, it's got a special pouch right in the uh, in the back of it, and it uh, works very well. Uh, take it with me as a, an EDC in the car. So just thought you might have a quick look at some of the gear I've got. Uh, was it just the uh, bags for the top? Top and the hammock there. And the, uh, well, bivvy, whatever you want to call it. Uh, that branch is quite nice to hang me cup and dry it. I thought that was quite cool. And I've, like I say, I've got that off the floor because I normally get spiders uh, popping out my bag when I take my stuff home. Right, sorry, I've just had my coffee and I'm belching like a good one. So, right, I'm going to get to. Uh, Rip down. I'm going to tidy all this mess up before I go, and uh, I'm going to head back home. I think after I have a quick cigarette. So enjoy the the dawn. So it looks like rain. <laughs> okay. Right. See you in a bit, guys. Right. There you go, lads. 5.32 in the morning, all that's left is my backpack, and that was the other tree where everything was from, you can see there's no real mess, uh, there's actually a bit of scorched ground where my uh, fire was, but seriously it's not that bad, uh, obviously a bit of dry ground where my feet have been looking at it. Doesn't look like any difference really. Not compared to what other people have thrown around the place. But uh, right, I'll get me uh, backpack on and uh, we'll toddle off home. So thanks for watching this video, guys. Uh, Hopefully uh, you've learnt something or been able to show you something about how to uh, go on camping in the great outdoors just for a stealth camp or if you quite fancy something else. Uh, just using a, a tarp and a hammock. But uh, there's the morning coming up. And... Uh, I feel the temperature going up straight away. Mind you, I've just finished putting my uh, stuff away, like, so I tend to sweat a bit. <sighs> warm now. <laughs> It'll be warm once I've carried all it. I'll keep it home anyway. Right, thanks guys for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't before. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up or please feel free to comment. Uh, all comments appreciated, even bad ones. So, Thanks very much, and uh, I pretty much enjoyed that, it was alright, yeah. a little bit nippy during the night, but uh, the right what they say about a fire, you will have a fire on the go, uh, even just a, a small one like that, and uh, it's uh, warm, it's comforting, shed some light, keeps the mozzies away, the insects, um, just makes you feel better. 
but uh, take care with it and remember to put it out properly and cover it up and tidy up after yourselves. Alright lads and lasses, <laughs> thanks for watching, take care and hope to see you in Stealth Camp 11, cheers for me, see you later. Just a little bit of bonus footage for you here, just before the battery runs out. This is what it's all about, fellas. A nice sunrise in the morning. You can't beat it, you really can't. Especially when you've had about uh, six or seven hours or whatever in pure darkness. But uh, looks uh, looks like it could be a lovely day today. So. I'm going to get going before I start sweating and see if there's any nice sights with the sun coming up I just love it the colours beautiful I guess that's what you call a typical Yorkshire morning. <laughs> right guys, all the best to you. Have a great day. Look forward to seeing some of your stuff soon. Cheers from me, Fez UFO. Catch you soon.